Right, now, if you've been watching the channel for a little while, you know sometimes old hot chuck, he's going to go a bit crazy in the head. Dark Box is one of my favourite decks to play this format. Kind of gets a little bit outclassed now, but I'm clinging on to Dear Hope. And I actually think you can get energy into play super fast with this version. And um, Dark Moon GX is absolutely bonkers and it wins you almost every game you get it off. So let's have a look. Right, so like I said in the intro, Dark Vox is one of my favourite, favourite decks of all time to play. You have so many good power spike turns, we can just go absolutely nuts. Pale, as more free prizes come out, Pale Moon Jack, I think it's called, only really gets better being able to just one-shot everything. Um, no questions, like stop some playing trainers as well. You pretty much win the game when you get it off, and I feel as if this list is pretty good so far in getting it off. So let's have a look. So we lose stuff like Nagnadel B-String. I'm not really a fan of red and blue. So we've gone for the Sharpedo. Uh, Sharpedo's got a really cool ability. Um, when you evolve him, you can look at the top six cards of your deck. Any energy you find there, you can attach to it. So on face value, I mean, it's got pretty good synergy with its attack, but um, we don't really want to be attacking with this. So what we can do in combination with our Weavile, we can then move those energies off onto our really good dark type attackers. Like we know how good dark type attackers are. You know, we got got... Um, Zoro Ninja, Sable Tar, um, and then obviously Darkrai Umbreon as well. So let's get on to those attackers. So we play two um, Greninja Zoroark, uh, just because it's a good little ramp attack. Like we can get a silly amount of energy in play, really nice move to just maneuver around our Pokemon. And this is a really good late game cleanup attack or a really good um, early game temper attack as well. Let's say you sort of uh, attach one, attach another one, and then you sharp here to get three more in play. That's a good little poke. So, um, yeah, really nice. 250 HP for the Titans, a little bit on the low side now for sure. I hear you, but it still smacks pretty damn hard. So, here's our main attacker that we try and use the most, though. We got Umbreon Darkrai. Um, was it Night Spear? Is it called? No, Black Lance. Sorry, that's not very good, though. 3 for 150 and a 60 snipe. I mean, 150 isn't even a consistent two shot anymore, which is sad to think about. His GX attack, though, for one energy, you stop your opponent playing trainers next turn. That's not very good. But for six energy in total, um, you knock out whatever's in their active. Okay, so now we're talking. So let's say they've got a big, bad, scary Eternatus out. You can just be like, lol, Dark Moon, boink. And then they can't play trainers as well. And at that point, then you can just move your energies off this onto your Zoro Ninja. Slap. You know, so um, Dark White Umbreon, I think, is worth building around just for that GX attack alone. You know, Blur, Black Lance, whatever it's called, not really the greatest. It used to be a lot better. I mean, you can snipe onto the Dene, which is always fun. But um, apart from that, you know, not very good. We then play a 2 2 Weavile. Okay, Weavile's obviously going to let us move around the energies as well, just so we can, you know, yeah, we don't really want them on the Sharpedo. So we can move them off to you know, Zoro Ninja, Umbreon Dark Roy, or we can move them on to. Well, that's space here. Uh, good old Mega Sableye Tyranitar. What a scary geezer. Greedy Crush, 5 for 2, 10. Lets you take an extra prize if it knocks out an EX or GX. So, three prizes on the Dene. That's cool. So, you can go Pell Moon into the Dene. Lol, see you later. Like, really, really cool. And I guess Giga Full GX, I haven't actually managed to get it off yet, but um, it does 250, great. But um, if you've got, what, 10 energy attached in total, you can just call the top 15 cards of your opponent's deck let me know if you ever get that off because that is also pretty bonkers right we then play one guzzlord as well let me just shift all these up come on there we go oh, that's actually pretty good so yeah we got one of the guzzlord as well red banquet for four energy 120 and you take an extra prize card when you knock something out so this is really cool getting stuff like the Sidra, for example we can play a lot and start taking two prize on you that's pretty funny but um what i really like with this is let's say you've used black lance into a dene for example or even into like something like a pcom if they're still around um you can then finish them off with red banquet and take an extra prize all right silly 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 stuff about using the gx as well so there's just gonna be multiple times where good lord is gonna like you know pull his weight for sure and um with weaver and sharpedo you cannot like, you can bring this guy out semi-reliably and start slapping stuff around with them. So I'm really impressed with Guzzlord. Let me play one to Dene. 
and one crowbat just so we need to dig you know we need to get our of, of, we need to evolve two stage ones in uh, most times I and mean, we've got really good ways of finding them don't get me wrong but we you know we still want to be as consistent as we can in doing that and that's why i think running the split of the denate and crowbat is nice so we can potentially if we need to i mean bench bears can get pretty tight but we can if we need to then into a crowbat you know if it's worth like it can be worth doing that if you can like evolve up two sharpedos in a turn and then get your pale moon gx off so we then play four of the peers supporter which lets you get one dark type and one dark energy from your deck this is really cool because what it's going to let you do this is going to really take the pressure off you evolving up your Sharpedo and evolving up your Weavile. You can just pierce them. Uh, and you know, if Pierce was to say something like grab a grab a Sharpedo, grab an energy from deck and get three energy from deck as well, attach them where you want, all of a sudden Pierce is like a pretty nutty supporter, right? <laughs> so you can like Pierce for one of your stage ones and then search out your other stage one. And once you've got energy on the board with a Weavile, you don't really need much else. All you need is your like attacker. That's all you need. So uh, I think you can get away with running Pierce in here, especially if you've got your double dig uh, Pokemon as well. In saying that though, we still play for Professor's Research because sometimes just discarding your hand and seven is pretty nutty. <laughs> I mean, it's, like I said, we need to find stuff. You know, two stage ones, multiple stage ones, even get multiple Sharpedos, obviously. Uh, Professor's Research will help us do that. And then we play three bosses orders. This is mostly just so we can, um, if we do get the Pale Moon, we want to be able to hit into our opponent's VMAX, right? Or their attack, if they see it coming, they might try and attack like a two prize or something, or like a Hooper in Eternity's case. Boss Lord's like, no, 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 give me that Eternity's VMAX and smite him. So, yeah, there's that. We then got, that is four, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so, we got four Quick Ball. Um, yeah, we need to get down, uh, was it Carvana? We need to get down uh, all our tag team attackers and find our, you know, Crowbat. It's so important we get multiple base down as quick as we can. Four quick ball lets us do this. We then play four Pokecoms. Now, you could argue that something like Great Ball is more explosive and could be better in here. I'm not against it. We only play like a 2 2 Revile though, so chances of you using a Great Ball to find the attacker you want is kind of low. You could even go down a Pokeball route. Four Pokeballs could be absolutely nuts in here. And if you wanted to go full memes, like, feel free to be my guest. But for now, I think four Pokecom is uh, <laughs> the way to go. And then here's what makes um, Sharpedo absolutely bonkers is <laughs> that you've got Scoop Up Net. So if you've got two Carvana down, you can evolve um sharpedo right yeah just get three energy out of deck let's say then you can scoop up net this that sharpedo once you move the energies off obviously if we've got and then attach uh then go into another sharpedo get like another two energy and then you just attach five energy in the turn we got to do is attach one from hand you got pale moonlight and that i tell you now i've played this deck that is not too crazy to uh, the situation to happen i've had it done before it's pretty nuts scoop up net with Sharpedo is pretty silly. It makes me, I wish I could fit like a Zigzagoon in here just, uh, just for maths fixing to be honest. If you can fit a Zigzagoon in, feel free. We then play two Switch because you know we need to maneuver around, you know. Switch is quite a boring card in a fun deck like this, but it is still necessary unfortunately, so we play two of those. And then for our stage, we play one Black Market. Um, I'm not 100% sure, uh, sold on this, but we are attacking mostly a tag teams, similarly to like, how a Turnus would. Um, so if we can like just you know get into attack into a tag team and only take two prizes instead of three That means you know we can potentially make them try and knock out three tag teams so, um, And if they, if they knock out Guzzlaw when black markets around they're taking no prizes And we play one dark city just because you know uh, We've got some fitty hefty retreat costs over here boys and I think dark city will help have a little bit more movement for sure And on to the energy I think it's 14 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 yeah so we play 14 darkness energy and that's just so our um sharpedo can get as many hits and we can bum rush out the pale moon gx as often as possible because that's our win con for sure greedy crush taking three prizes for sure is a bit of a naughty geezer as well so let me know what you think am i super reaching here or could we see this doing some damage i think it can do some damage it might just be the believer in me i don't know but thanks for watching as always what do you think let me know in the comments if you're after more darkness of blaze content make sure to check the player style in the description where i've got so many post rotation deck profiles and gameplay too but thanks for watching and i'll see you all next time